Well, hello everybody. Good afternoon. So um, I'm going to present you the Open Source School. I'm just going to present myself before in a few words. So I'm Jennifer Shetley. I joined Smile a few years ago, 10 years now, and uh, as a head of marketing and communications. And uh, two years ago, I stopped this job and at Smile took in charge of the uh, training activity. And this was under the brand Smile Training. And uh, so, working on this uh, training activity, we um, we built a project named Open Source School, and this was uh, we started working on this project about a year and a half ago. And I'm very pleased and very proud to present uh, the project now because it uh, it has begun. So first, um, why such a school? Um, I'm sure you know everything about the open source market. Uh, you know that it's uh, very active, uh, more than 10% a year, a strong growth, uh, and practically 100% of uh, organizations use open source um, in their IT. We've got thousands of open source professionals. It's a very active market. Yet, we have a recruitment paradox. Um, Basically, every year we've got 15,000 new jobs created in the IT market and 15,000 uh, young graduates coming out each year. But uh, practically 90% of the IT managers say they have trouble finding and recruiting open source skills. And this is not going to get better because um, uh, more than half, um, more than 50% uh, of um, recruitment managers plan to um, hire more open source skills in the next few years. So we're really here in a paradox and um, a real problem of uh, having the good and adequate uh, training uh, to meet uh, the needs of the market. And this is why we decided to, um, to create such a school and such a training center. So to do this, SMILE proposed to um, the school uh, EPSI, which is an uh, IT engineering school, to uh, lead this project together. Uh, we started working on the project um, a year and a half ago. We presented it to the Prime Minister's Services of France because we decided to... Um, to uh, try and be labelised as Investissement d'Avenir programme. This is a programme where the government, through the Commissariat General à l'Investissement, um, led by Louis Schweitzer, um, chooses some projects in the French economy to um, labelise them, recognise them as Investissement d'Avenir. And we have worked hard and we have been approved in this project and um, supported really uh, in the creation of the Open Source School. And uh, not just uh, supported and encouraged, but we also had a big dotation of 1.4 million euros to launch the school and guarantee um, hopefully continued existence. Um, this school is um, not smile schools. It's not our just yeah. It's not just smiles. We really want this school to be open to uh, the uh, ecosystem. And very early in the project, we um, we talk to um, well different people whom we work with um, um, regularly and uh, propose them to join the project. And they were all very uh, pleased and eager with, with it. And OW2 um, obviously was um, uh, part of it. And uh, this is important because it's really one of the um, uh, DNA of the school to be open to everybody and wow, well, all the people making or doing open source should, um, should join us. And of course, uh, we are also um, supported by the uh, CNNL. Uh, we so we, uh, we had the approval in uh, September last year uh, and, uh, of the government, of the state, and we began uh, the communication campaign in February. Uh, we had uh, loads of uh, news cuts in the press. We did events. We did videos. We really worked to the, um, um, to the brand awareness of the, of the school. Uh, we have um, well, schools and education centres uh, 
uh, in quite a few places in France, we actually use SMILES and EPSI infrastructure to um, give the courses and uh, open the classes. Um, what I'm specifically going to present to you now is the three main activities of the school. Uh, the first one regarding higher education for the students. The second one, executive education. That's all the training we're going to do for people um, uh, in their professional life. And the third activity is um, uh, sharing all the resources we can create and uh, gather in the open source school. So, higher education. Um, that's, of course, for the students. Um, students who are admitted in the school after a uh, bac plus deux, so two years after their baccalaureate, this is equivalent of uh, A-levels in England. Um, so at the open source school, they can come with us for three years in a sandwich course. So sandwich course is on enterprise, school, school, enterprise. And um, so they can really learn uh, all the theory and then uh, be in apprenticeship in, a, in an organization. The scholarship is free for students or took in charge by tax d'apprentissage. And uh, of course, at the end of uh, their three years, uh, they practically all have a guaranteed job. Uh, this is just a, a slide to uh, remind you how diploma um, organized in France and to show you how serious the school is and the diploma we deliver at the end of the year for, for students. So you've got all the um, university diplomas first. So we're not in this, um, in this specific range. Uh, so this is all the diplomas delivered by university. Then you've got the um, engineer schools, the Big high schools, how you call them in France, grandes écoles, and then you have all the um, schools delivering uh, titles, uh, RNCP, RNCP for French-speaking people, people in France is um, Répertoire National des Certifications Professionnelles. So this is where OSS, Open Source School, is. Um, so students, if they stay one year with us, they have the um, title level two, and if they stay all the three years, they'll have a uh, title level three. Uh, level one, sorry, and this is equivalent to BEC plus 5. So it's a real diploma uh, recognized by the state. Uh, and this is one of the first questions we had when we presented the school to students is, uh, is my diploma really recognized? Is it a real school, a real training for me? So this is very important. Yes, it is. Uh, the education program is fully open source. It's not just an Another IT school we're opening, it's really open source school, so they have a customized program with uh, Java, PHP, uh, all sorts of uh, open source um, tools and technologies are, teach, are taught there. And they also have a, a special course um, called Active Member. And that's when we're going to ask students to um, participate to, uh, or contribute to an open source project. So it could be um, go and help, come here to OW2 and help maybe the, for the organization or maybe do a new website for the, um, for the association or maybe contribute to a little program. We really want these students to, um, during all their um, scholarship with us, really um, get this um, community um, behavior and uh, uh, develop their network and go to uh, events and meetups and uh, this is very important in their, in their class with us. Uh, the other point is that we really wanted this, um, the, the school, the higher education program, we really wanted it practical. Uh, as I said at the beginning of the presentation, it really had to meet uh, the needs of the market. Um, people coming um, in class to do the teaching, they're all professionals. And, um, and this is something that's really, really appreciated by the students. They like knowing uh, how things are in the enterprises and, um, and really being with people who sometimes are not that much older than them, but who really have this real-world experience of open source. 
So that's for the higher education activity. I don't know if you have questions. So uh, I'm going to present you the, um, the executive education um, activity. So it's under the, the baseline open source school executive education. This is all um, the trainings we can deliver for people once they're no students uh, anymore, but uh, uh, when they're in their professional life. So in the executive education um, offer, we first have the short trainings over open source we can propose. So they're all available uh, on the website um, formation.opensourceschool.fr. Uh, and we have uh, about uh, 200 courses available uh, covering really the major fields of IT. Um, we're adding more and more uh, trainings um, as um, people are contacting us to say, oh, I'm interested, could you put my training uh, on, the, um, on the site? And most of them uh, are short trainings from one to five days to learn how to... Um, uh, develop on uh, Magento do, um, DevOps, or OpenStack, well, whatever um, solutions we um, we can propose on open source. The these courses um, we have different types of um, of trainings, um, either team training when you really have a, a team to. Um, to, uh, to train on a specific technology, individual trainings um, uh, or intercompany classes. That's when we, be, we uh, propose a class and different people from different enterprise come. Uh, the training center is, of course, certified. This is important in France because um, uh, French uh, companies have a specific budget um, for trainings and being a certified training center means that the trainings you will be doing with us can be took in charge by this specific budget um, with uh, Le OPCA for those who, are, who know the training system. Um, our instructors as for the higher education programs, they're really um, uh, experienced instructors uh, who most of them have encountered uh, difficulties or problems sometimes in their projects and um, they're really likely to share this unique experience they can have with the, um, the uh, people um, following the training with them. Um, another big activity in this uh, executive education and I think that's the um, activity I'm really fond of, is um, all the professional recognition. Uh, we are working with the Pôle emploi to a program uh, that I called in English Back to Work program, but in French is Préparation Opérationnelle de Retour à l'Emploi. And these are programs really dedicated to unemployed people. And uh, the aim of this program is really to train them to um, a specific job really uh, needed on the market and uh, then to place them in, um, in hiring companies. So this uh, training of course is free, it's about 330 hours, that's about three months intensive training. It's free for the candidate of course and free for the uh, company who will hired the candidate at the end. And it's really a good program because it's, um, it's a program that takes uh, unemployed people, trains them, and, and has partnerships with uh, enterprises. So the people who've been trained will enter directly a company afterwards. Uh, we are starting one in mid-October with uh, three uh, company partners of the, of the program and it's one which will prepare the uh, candidates, so the unemployed people, to the job of a developer PHP, um, PHP developer. And we received about 300 um, uh, letters from unemployed people who said, oh, I would like to 
tried this program and uh, and most of the people um, who are candidates they um, the people who have um, sometimes an IT experience an IT background or at least a scientific background and who have not been doing IT as a job but who have the um, basic skills maybe to um, to learn this job so it's it's very, very interesting because it's really putting back to work some people. And uh, at the end of the year, I should have um, uh, a group of them uh, entering new uh, companies. So if these kinds of programs interest you, don't hesitate to contact us. Um, Smile, uh, Alterwe as well, who are partners of the program, will be hiring some of the um, people we are training to be um, PHP developers. Um, the last part, and then I'll, I'll be done, is sharing our resources. This is one of the engagements we took when we uh, applied to um, be um, Programme Investissement d'Avenir. And this is one of the reasons why the government gave us also some financial um, dotations, is that we want to share a um, maximum of resources that will be produced within the um, open source school. So first of all is the MOOCs. I don't know if you are familiar with this, but basically a MOOC is a course of study made available over the internet without charge of a very large number of people, says the Oxford Dictionary. Um, basically it's um, trainings, we're going to by video trainings, uh, leaning on uh, different teaching means, uh, quizzes, forums, hands-on, and practicals. And um, all these video trainings will be made available on, the, uh, on our website uh, platform. And uh, so they are not available for the moment. We're working on them. Uh, we hope uh, to have uh, maybe half a dozen of them by the end of the year. The ones we're working on at the moment is Algorithmics and um, Linux Embedded. And the, well, the other we, uh, we plan to do by the end of the year is also Understanding Open Source. And we have, we have many um, topics. And, uh, well, um, I'm looking forward to, uh, to see them um, all finish. It's a lot of work, but uh, I hope uh, people will, will enjoy them afterwards. And finally, the last but the resources we'd like to share as well is all the training material and all the slides and courses we will, um, we will uh, make uh, well, with uh, the open source schools and all the different instructors which will uh, be um, okay to, um, to share their, their slides. They are um, all uploaded for the moment on the slide share page and uh, I think there must be 12 or 15 for the moment, and we really plan to uh, publish um, all of them by the end of the year and also, well, or during um, the next months. So uh, I think this is something unique in France. I don't know if any other training centers offering all this material and um, or other schools. So, um, well, it's really one of the engagements, being open as much as possible. Okay. Good. Thank, Thank you. you Thank you very much.